Gastrophon! Snakes! snail, the most common snail, and they just love the lettuce in our gardens. The snail crawls along thanks to its foot and navigates thanks to its antennas. The long ones have an eye on the tip and the smaller ones are very touch sensitive. The snail, which has a soft body protected by a shell, is a mollusk, a gastropod mollusk, because its stomach, gastero, is in its foot, pod. This small hole that is opening and closing is the respiratory orifice, leading to the lung. The snail is both male and female. During mating, the sperm of one fertilizes the eggs of the other. So all snails lay eggs, which three weeks later hatch into small snails. The escargot, or edible snail, here on the right, is the largest garden snail. Escargot, my cargo. It's not a very common species, much less widespread than the brown-lipped snail, for example, with their varied stripes and colors. And certain snails, like the glass snail, are actually carnivorous. Slugs are close relatives of snails. Certain species have a small shell under their skin at the height of the pulmonary orifice. Other snails live in fresh water, for example, this pond snail, which does, however, breathe with a lung like its relatives on land. The ramshorn snail, a species close to the pond snail, feeds on the microscopic algae that they scrape off leaves and vegetation with their tongue. There are other species of water snails, like this river snail, that don't have to come up to the surface to breathe because they are equipped with bronchiae, just like periwinkles, and the top shell snail. But these two are marine species. Shellfish hunters know that periwinkles can live out of water for several hours. But they're not the only ones. Here we see the limpet, which when it finds itself above the water level, it clamps onto its rock to retain the water in its shell and avoid drying out. At high tide, it's another story. Activity begins again. The limpet, anchored by its large foot, absorbs tiny algae. The mud snails go off in search of a cadaver. I mean, dead thing. And they find one. It's a dead crab. It may look like the crab is moving, but it's just that he's getting a bit pushed around by all those hungry mud snails. Meanwhile, this peaceful sea slug is looking for some seaweed to eat. This gastropod has no shell at all. It carries a kie on its back and around its anus. <laughs> anus. Among the fauna of the world, there are 10,000 gastropods with a wide variety of shapes, sizes, behavior, and diet. What all these mollusks have in common is one foot, 
eye-bearing antenna, and a rasping tongue. When they have a shell, it is one single piece. Many are marine species, but those that are terrestrial need moisture to be active. which lives deep in the warm seas, isn't. His head looks like a squid's, which is not surprising since they belong to the same group, cephalopod mollusks, which means having its head in its foot. Having its head in the foot. Well, I hope you learned something, because I sure did. Some of the weirdest creatures I've ever seen. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe.